Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. So today we are going to be doing a video, a video that I'm super, super excited for. And that is we are going to be making six, six dump and go crock pot meals. And that is basically what it, what it says. You get a crock pot and you literally dump your ingredients in the morning and by the time you get home from work, you have a nice, delicious, nutritious meal waiting for you when you get home. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, I would love if you would subscribe. If you are enjoying this video or if you are, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And the first meal is called a pasta fagioli. I think that's how you pronounce it, soup. It's actually called pasta e fagioli. Fagioli soup. I'm Italian, but you wouldn't know it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you need in this, and then literally we're just going to dump everything in, and we're going to go. And also, wanted to tell you, so it calls for a pound of ground beef, and you do, because the texture is like so off. Now, you can dump and go when it comes to ground beef. It's not the best texture, though. Think of a can of chili and how that meat texture is. That's exactly how the texture of your meat is going to come out in the crock pot if you do not pre-brown your ground beef. Now that's just for ground beef and probably ground turkey. I will not brown anything else. Um, and the reason why I'm including this in a dump and go is because I'm actually working on it right now. But I'm going to have one pound servings. I have like 11 pounds of ground beef over here that I'm going to fry up today or brown up today, and I'm going to individually put each of the pound of meat into a freezer bag, and I'm gonna put it into my freezer. So that way, anytime I need that meat, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. So if I need it for spaghetti, it's already made. I literally just dump it into a pan of sauce, and we've got spaghetti. Make some noodles, and we've got spaghetti. In meals like this, like if I make a chili in the crock pot, I already have my browned, ground beef so I don't have to worry about before I go to work or the night before going to work having to brown up the ground beef. So that is a huge time saving tip. So we're going to go ahead and get on to the first dump and go crock pot meal which like I said is pasta e fagioli soup. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Obviously you're going to need a crock pot. If you have crock pot liners this would be great for that. Um, I don't really use them, but I know a lot of people love to use them, so if you use them, go ahead and get them out. One pound of browned up ground beef. I use the lean. You need some celery, onion, and carrot. Um, you're going to need some thyme, basil, and oregano, but I don't have all three of those, so I'm just going to use some Italian seasoning. You're going to need two bay leaves. You're going to need a can of cannellini beans, a can of kidney beans, a can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, two cans of beef broth, and some ditalini. And then 30 minutes before it's due to be served, you have to put in the pasta so the pasta will cook. I'm gonna go ahead and drain and rinse all of these and then all of this stuff is just going to get dumped into my crock pot. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me So I pop the lid on, it's going to cook on low for 7 to 8 hours, and in 8 hours I'm going to come back and we're going to put the pasta in. Okay, so we are ready, about ready to eat, so I'm going to go ahead and take the top off. I've already stirred it, by the way. Doesn't it look delicious? You guys, look at this. OMG. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take one cup of this pasta, pour it in there, let it cook for 30 minutes, and then it'll be ready to plate up, or should I say bowl up. The recipe calls for one cup, which is basically half of this box, but I had already um, calculated in my fitness pal that I was going to use this whole box, 
And when I put the one cup in there, slash half the box, but when I put half the box in there, it just, I don't know, it just looked like it wasn't enough pasta to me. So I went ahead and I, I personally added the whole box. But like I said, the recipe calls for one cup. Don't listen to what I said. <clears throat> I made a huge boo-boo. I mean huge. I'm literally like, I was like sitting here like laughing at myself, like screaming like, no! You guys wanna see what I did? No, you can't have one. <laughs> you guys, I don't have soup anymore. I just have pasta. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. I just added some Parmesan cheese. Super yummy. That's Ava's bowl. Control's not hungry yet, so he's not gonna eat. But yeah, this would be super delicious with some crusty bread on the side or um, a nice salad, but I'm just being lazy tonight and just eating this. See you guys tomorrow for Dump and Go crock pot meal number two. Okay, so for tonight's Dump and Go crock pot meal, we are making French dip sandwiches. And what you're going to need right now to go into the crock pot is about a three pound beef chuck roast, third of a cup of reduced sodium soy sauce, one cup of Coke, two ten and a half. 10 and a half ounce cans of beef consomme, fourth of a cup of dry minced onions, one tablespoon of beef bouillon, one teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon dried oregano, half a teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon pepper, quarter teaspoon dried thyme, and one bay leaf. Now I do not have thyme, I do not have onion powder, which I thought I did, but I don't, so I'm gonna omit that. Um, and I don't have oregano, so for the oregano and thyme, I'm actually going to use Italian seasoning. So let's go ahead and get this all in the crock pot. By the way, if you want to go ahead and sear your chuck roast, you can. Um, I'm choosing not to because I feel like it's just a waste of time. I don't feel like it adds more flavor or anything. So let's go ahead and assemble this in the crock pot. Slice up the meat and cook it for another one to two hours. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. I went ahead and just kind of um, shredded up the meat a little bit. And then what I did was I took some, I guess, hoagie rolls from the deli. And I just put the meat on each of the roll. And I topped it with provolone cheese. And we ended up putting it in the oven at 450 degrees for like 5-10 minutes just for the bread to crisp up and the cheese to get melty. And also added the little juice on the side. These were delicious. I will say you're going to need the au jus sauce though for sure because without it, it's very dry. All right, so this came together super quickly. I just have some of the au jus sauce on the side. I'm the only one that wanted it. The kids did not. So there's Contrell's plate, there's Ava's. Um, Ava wanted corn, so that's what we're having on the side. And this is what the, this deliciousness looks like. Like, right? Oh, we cannot wait to go eat this. Okay, so crock pot meal number three, you guys. This could not be easier. And I'm telling you, this is the way that you want to make sauce if you want some really, really, really good tasting sauce sauce so again this could not be easier but I have already browned up some ground beef I have like 11 pounds in the freezer so this is still frozen this is like I said already cooked so a pound a piece so here I'm going to just throw in this frozen ground beef 
into the crock pot. There's one. Pound number two. So I just have two, let's see, 24 ounce jars of tomato sauce from Walmart. And what I like to do is always fill the jar about this much with some water and from there like shake 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 so this much full of water shake it and then pour it so you get every single bit of sauce i'll let mine cook for 10 hours and i've seen and i've realized that you can actually cook pasta in your crock pot as well what you would need to do if you wanted to just throw the pasta in here is 30 minutes before you're wanting to to eat your dinner throw in some pasta, put the lid on it, and it's gonna cook it. I personally want this to freeze, so like we're gonna eat like half of this maybe, or like a quarter of this or whatever, and freeze the rest. So I'm not gonna add pasta, and I'm actually going to cook mine separately on the stove. But if you want this to be a legit dump and go, boom, bam, done, 30 minutes before, throw in some pasta, and you've got a complete meal ready for you um so yeah we're just gonna let that go to town pop the lid on it and i'll catch you guys back here in 10 hours okay so this is the sauce oh hello and i just boiled some rotini added some sauce to it topped it with parmesan cheese and that is dinner for tonight um, this would be great with some garlic bread on the side and a salad, but I'm not feeling that great, so thank you, crock pot. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this real quick. I went ahead and I put the rest of the sauce that I did not use in a freezer bag, and I'm just going to pop this in the freezer for any time I want a slow-cooked sauce super, super, super quickly. So... That was a super easy meal, you guys. Like, I'm talking like literally dump and go, like two ingredients. Yes, give it to me. All right, so this dump and go crock pot meal is called Slow Cooker Root Beer Chicken. And this is something new to me. I've never tried it before. And what you're going to need are two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You're going to need one and a half cups of barbecue sauce, which is basically this size container which is an 18 ounce container. So an 18 ounce container of um, barbecue sauce. You're gonna need some dried oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, and cayenne pepper. I don't like cayenne pepper um, because the kids don't like spicy, so I'm leaving that out. And I don't have oregano, and I also don't have onion powder. So I'm just gonna use Italian seasoning and then some garlic powder. And then you want a 12 ounce can of root beer. I got these little tiny baby seven and a half ounces, so I just went ahead and weighed mine out in a cup. So now you just put everything in the crock pot, turn it on low for, what is it, seven hours? And yeah, let's go ahead and get this stuff in there. Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming I smell your breath, not listening But I still hear you screaming Going under One step away till you hear what I'm saying Alright, so once you get all of the ingredients in, this is what your chicken should look like. It did not call for any salt and pepper. So um, I'll let you know if I feel like it needs it. But now, just go ahead and put the top on. Turn it on low. And let me tell you, I've been loving these drop and these dump and go crock pot meals. Like, what? Dinner's gonna be ready in seven hours. Bam. Okay, so it's been seven hours. Actually, I think it's been a little longer than seven hours because it's almost six o'clock. And so I'm just taking like two forks and I'm just shredding this chicken. The one thing that I'm noticing, okay, first of all, it smells delicious. But the one thing I am noticing about this is that it's very watery, like very watery. And I was kind of hoping, you know, for like a thick sauce. I'm thinking of barbecue, so 
I'm thinking, you know, I want something thick. And this is just not thick. I'm just gonna take these rolls, plate it up with some fruits, and we are going to have dinner. So I'll show you my plate when it's all plated up. Okay, so here's my plate plated up. There's Ava's, there's Contrell's. To be honest with you guys, I personally feel like I would have rather have just dumped some chicken in there, dumped just some, what's it called, barbecue sauce and call it a day. I don't think that the root beer really added any flavor. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I definitely think that it would have been much better served over rice. This chicken over, like on a bun, just isn't the best. I just had the taste for barbecue today, and I wanted something really barbecuey, and this is not where it's at. So if you want something barbecuey, do it over rice and not on a bun. I think I might have, if I have some in the fridge, I'm gonna add a little bit on top. But yeah, that is our dinner for tonight. Okay, so this crockpot meal is like the easiest crockpot meal ever. I don't even know if it has a name. I personally call it um, grape jelly meatballs. This is like one of the kids' favorites. Um, and so it's usually more like an appetizer, but the kids are obsessed and we love to make this as a dinner. So all you're gonna need is a 12 ounce container of chili sauce. You'll find this um, over there by the ketchup and stuff like that. You are going to need a bag. I just have here a 32 ounce bag of turkey meatballs. Um, personally, it does taste better with the full fat, like regular pork um, or ground beef meatball, but these are definitely obviously like healthier for you and all that stuff, so have those. And then I have here a 18 ounce jar of grape jelly. I've also heard people do barbecue sauce. Um, so I think instead of the barbecue sauce, or instead of the chili sauce, people have done barbecue sauce. But these are the three ingredients that I like to make. So again, literally just dump and go. Like, this is so easy. You don't even have to cook this that long. It's like one o'clock now. So you can take like half the afternoon. Um, it's just so incredibly easier. I will say if you're going to cook with these turkey meatballs that you should not cook, cook them as much because they're going to dry out a little bit or a little bit more if you do cook it like regular eight hours. But yeah, you just literally dump them in there and then you put in your, you can do it at the same time, your chili sauce and your I have to get something for this. Sounds like fun, and the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm just going to put it on low. Put the cover on. And I'll see you guys back in four hours. So, four hours on low. Alright, so this is what they look like after about four hours of cooking on low. Um, and I'm actually just going to serve it just like this tonight. Um, probably some veggies on the side. But, um, yeah, this is another super, super simple, easy crock pot meal that is done super quickly and takes, like, no prep at all. Literally, you just dump and go. So, yeah, this one is meal number what? Number six. Okay, so for this part of the recipe, you're going to need some chicken, some garlic, some salt, pepper, basil, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and a quarter cup of water. So let's go ahead and dump all of this into the crock pot.
late start today, so I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on, and I'm going to cook it on high for four hours. So it's 12, it'll be done in at 4 o'clock. If you have the time, cook it on low for eight hours. When this is done, we will just shred the chicken up, and then we'll add the pasta, and then we will cover it with other things. So that's it for right now. I'm gonna let it do its thing, and I'll see you guys back here in four hours. Okay, so it's been, actually it's been four and a half hours, and this is what our delicious food looks like. So I'm gonna take this little thing right here, I will link one down below, but you can get them at Walmart. Um, I actually find this, found this at Kroger, one of my local grocery stores. So what you just want to do is go ahead and start shredding the chicken. And these little contraptions are a really great way to go ahead and shred that chicken in a super fast way. So this is what we're working with. Now you want to take 12 ounces of whatever pasta you have. I'm thinking this is about 12 ounces. I'm not uh, entirely sure because there's some gone and it was a 16 ounce package. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay my angel hair in. And I'm going to kind of push it down into the sauce. And this is going to take 30 minutes. So that is what it'll look like. Now you just want to pour on top two cups of mozzarella cheese. And then you want to put the cover on that for 10 more minutes while the cheese melts. Now this is something completely and entirely optional, but this is something that you do on the stove top if you want to do it, and I am going to do it. Okay, so you just want to take two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then half a cup go ahead and heat that over medium because you want this to be nice and warm yes I'm getting new pans I'm working on it I know this is old dingy and gross you don't have to tell me twice you're gonna take half a cup of breadcrumbs and we're just gonna basically like toast them on the stove in the olive oil to put on top of the casserole to kind of emulate and make it like it's an actual casserole that's coming out of the oven. So like I said, this is a total optional step, but I think that it's a really delicious step that you shouldn't want to miss. Our breadcrumbs are nice and toasty, a little almost burnt. <laughs> Our cheese is nice and melted, so you just want to see if I can get this in frame. Oh yeah, we got a little, we got a little burn on there. We got a little burn on there. Maybe it won't be too bad. Um, and then you want to put some Parmesan cheese on top. And there is your delicious dump and go chicken parmesan casserole. Okay, so for our last dump and go crock pot meal, this is probably one of mine and the kids' favorites. And again, it is so incredibly simple, but yet so incredibly flavorful. So this is called the Mississippi pot roast. And all you're gonna need is a chuck roast. Um, you can do like about, I usually go about three pounds. This is two and two and about a quarter pounds. Um, you're gonna need one full stick of butter. You're gonna need some pepperoncinis. You're gonna need one packet of onion soup mix and one packet of ranch seasoning. And literally just dump everything in and go. Now I've seen a, I've seen this recipe on YouTube a lot. Some people use brown gravy mix. Some people use other things. Some people only put in like four or five pepperoncinis, y'all. I load it down with pepperoncinis because I don't think it adds much spice. And I'll tell you because my kids do not like spice. And girl, they will pick it up in a heartbeat. But 
they don't pick this up and it just adds so much flavor so let's go ahead and get started with this super delicious yet super super simple crock pot meal So as you can see here, I loaded, I completely surrounded the roast with the pepperoncinis. I have like 13 or 14 of them in there. Again, all of the ones I've seen on YouTube do like four or five. I don't know where I got this recipe from. I think I just pulled it off of Pinterest like, I don't know, like last year and me and the kids are just obsessed with it. So yeah, I've kind of adapted it to my family's liking. And this is the way that I personally do it, and I think this is the most best delicious flavor. So we're just going to pop the lid on it and put this on low and cook it for eight hours. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Delicious, you guys. This little sauce gravy deliciousness going on is so good. Usually I do like a bigger meal with this like some rice some veggies maybe a potato something like that but today we're literally just going to have this on some rolls which i've never done before and but i know it's going to be amazing um and i'm just super 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 busy and i've got a lot of stuff to get done so we're just going to have some broccoli on the side and that is what this deliciousness looks like. I wish you guys could smell this. It is so good. If you have not tried this, you need to. This is by far my most favorite thing to do in the crock pot. No joke, like it is delicious. So everyone needs to try this. So that's that one. And we're gonna do one more. I thought this was gonna be the last one, but we're gonna do one more crock pot meal because it is so super simple and easy. I'm actually gonna get started tonight. Okay, so this is our last Dump and Go crock pot meal. I'm actually making this at night to put in the fridge so in the morning I can let it come to room temperature and then put it in the little crock pot base and turn it on low. So when I come home from work, I will have a super delicious meal waiting to me to come home. So all you wanna do, we're gonna make chili by the way. Um, you wanna go ahead and add in two pounds of ground beef. Mine is frozen. So what I've done is I've taken like 11 pounds of ground beef and I've ground it, put them each in individual one pound bags, and I've froze it. So that way I can literally have dump and go crock pot meals as I need them. So I highly recommend that you guys do this too. As you can see, it is frozen, but that's that. So you just dump in your ground beef. I'm doubling this, so keep in mind this is for a doubled chili. So we're going to add two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce, two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes, the recipe calls for 16 ounces of salsa. Here I have only 24 ounces because you know 12 or 16 and 16 is 32. So I'm just going to add in a can of Rotel with diced tomatoes and green chilies. Two cans of rinsed and drained black beans. Two cans of rinsed and drained kidney beans. Four tablespoons or a quarter of a cup of chili powder. Two teaspoons of ground cumin. and then four teaspoons of sugar. So, bam, there is your chili, literally. Could not be easier, you guys. Could not be easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully, because as you can see, this doubling brought it all the way to the top, plus the fact that my ground beef is still frozen, brought this all the way to the top. So I'm just gonna kinda stir this a little bit. I'm going to pop the lid on it 
tonight I'm going to pop this in the fridge. I'm going to pop the lid on it and I'm going to put this in the fridge so tomorrow morning when I wake up before I go to work I can go ahead and put it in here, turn it on low for eight hours and I can have me a delicious chili waiting on me when I get home. By the way, the reason that I doubled the chili is because um, chili freezes beautifully. So whatever it is that I don't finish throughout the week, I will go ahead and put it into a plastic baggie and freeze it. So whenever I want chili, it's already made for me and I can just dump it back into the crock pot and make another meal. So yeah, I will show you guys what it looks like tomorrow evening when I get home from work. No point in me showing you. Literally in the morning, I'm going to take it out, put it on the counter, let the container come to room temperature, put it in the base, turn the base on low, let it cook all day while I'm at work, and when I come home, I will show you guys what it looks like, and I'll show you what I plated up with. So my first day of work ended up being so crazy that the last thing on my mind was filming um, what the chili looked like and everything. Thank God for this meal coming home, like being able to come home to this meal because there was no way I was cooking after the day I had. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my video. I'll link it down below. It's all about my first week of my first job. Hold on. No, my first week at my new job. And I go into detail about my first day. It was a little crazy, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of the crock pot meals that I shared. Um, definitely loved doing this video for you guys. Definitely loved all of the dump and go crock pot meals. They're so simple, so incredibly easy, and definitely will be making more. If you guys want to see more dump and go crock pot meals videos, let me know. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a week worth of Insta pot meals and also a week worth of um what is it what's that thing called air fryer air fryer meals so if you guys want to see that video comment down below and let me know um but yeah i just wanted to show you like the chili was literally like just looked like chili it was nothing nothing exciting pretty basic i just topped mine with some shredded shredded cheddar cheese and some sour cream and one night I actually did it with some Fritos that I had on hand. But yeah, that was it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Um, like this video, share this video. And again, let me know if you want to see more and if you want to see the Insta Pot and also the air fryer meals. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.